allow me to greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord again. Amen. Welcome to this English service. And I want to say, in this life, sometimes bad things happen suddenly to people. Bad things sometimes happen suddenly to people. I remember a story of a lady that in one of the parishes that I went to preach sometimes back in Italy. The lady that said he was doing very well. In his job, everybody praised him. Then, all of a sudden, without notice, he was sacked. After foot workers. Then, when it happened suddenly, things became bananas. Things went from bad to worse. Even people did not want to preach him. They thought he could. And they were a pizza or boiled by a food workers. His workers did not preach him. He was isolated. When bad things happen to an individual, suddenly, we may feel isolated, alone, and even lonely and in despair. Do you know the great song that we sing? What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins, sorrows we take to him. Jesus, the great friend. The writer of this song was a young man. This young man came from the island. He went and preached somewhere far from home. But before he left, first at first, before he became a missionary, one day the young man was talking to, was having a fiancé for the other program. He wanted to get married to the fiancé. And as they were preparing, only Eve to the wedding. Yes! Before they did the wedding, just one day before the wedding, this lady was riding a horse. Now, in Mokoaki and Farasi, it got an accident, and the lady, the horse fell, and the lady was injured, and she died on the spot. The same young man. After some years, was also engaged to another lady. This lady contracted tuberculosis. After she contracted tuberculosis, just some few days to the wedding, the lady died. Double tragedy. Bad things happened to this man. Almost concurrent. What do you do when bad things happen suddenly in your life? Sometimes they happen in relationships. Sometimes bad things happen in our school. Sometimes they happen to people who are close to us. And you remember this writer of the hymn. When bees like a river attended my ways, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot, thou hast taught me to say it is well with my soul. The writer of this hymn was a lawyer. And the family had planned a vacation. They were supposed to travel from America and they go to London for a vacation. But before they went for a vacation, there was sudden work that came about, and the husband or the man of the family, who was a lawyer, was forced to remain and attend to the business of his office. But he escorted the wife and the five daughters, and they traveled via a boat. From which country? From America to Britain. Midway, the boat capsized. All the five daughters were saved, were died. 
they drowned. It's only the mother who was saved. And the mother wrote a message. And he said, she said, saved alone. The man took the next boat, knowing that all the five daughters, even she will not have, he will not have time to bury them because they were deep in the sea. They were never recovered. But this man proceeded to say, even when bad things happen, it is well with my soul. Our reading today was drawn from Psalm 60. This is a psalm that was written by David. It begins by saying, God, you have four seconds. It begins at a very difficult time. David wrote this psalm when they had lost the battle to the Philistines. King Saul had been killed by the Philistines. When he wrote these psalms, the Moabites and other nations had continued to attack them. Bad things had happened to David suddenly and repeatedly. The title of my sharing today, when bad things happen to you, where do you turn to? Some people turn to their friends and they force them. Some people turn to money. Money cannot give solutions. Some people turn to witch doctors. And witch doctors, they only take money, but leave the problem with you. Today, the title of my sharing is when bad things happen to me, I will turn to God. When bad things happen to me, I will turn to God. Number one, I will turn to God and cry to the Lord. When bad things happen to me, I will turn to God and cry to him. Number one, that he forgives me of my sins. Sometimes bad events happen because of my sins. Therefore, I will cry to God. I will ask God to forgive me of all my sins. Cleanse me from all iniquity and unrighteousness. Sometimes when bad things happen, I will turn to God, cry to him to forgive me. Number two, I will turn to God and ask God to protect me. When bad things happen, I cry to God for his divine protection. You remember when we were here during the month of January. First service that we did as a local church, we did it outside there. Here. The church had been locked. Bad things had happened to us repeatedly. The priest had been hit by a chair. The police had locked the church. But we turned and cried to God that he will protect us and allow us to preach the gospel as I am preaching right now. It doesn't matter the place so long as you preach the gospel. Even in this classroom, I preach the gospel. But it's because we turn to God and cry to God and ask him that he will protect us. As I was coming from home, I was picked by a vehicle in town, the vehicle of the vicar's wife, Mr. Uh, Clement, from town. And we decided to use the other ones. And we came from here. Little did we know that some people in the gate had barricaded the gate with the stones. Not wanting the priest to preach in the church. But since we turned to God and prayed to him, he protected me. I did not go through the, 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 the gate. And as the people are waiting in the gate to block me from coming into the church, I was entered fully robbed. I entered and I found the people in the church. I preached the gospel. They waited from the other place and we continued preaching and they left. When? When bad things 
something. Turn and cry to God. Pray to God that our God will protect you from all dangers, from all challenges, from all issues. May He protect the opportunity that you have to study. May He protect what you are in. May He protect your family and your life. Number two, when bad things happen to me suddenly, I will turn to God who speaks to me through the Bible. I will turn to the Lord who speaks to me through the Bible. When I am anointed, the Bible encourages me. When I feel discouraged, I will turn to God. Be done, one And what does God speak of the Number one. He is my creator. Therefore, nothing is impossible with me. And even when I'm sick, when I'm not feeling well, and I turn to God, my creator, there is nothing that is impossible with me. I turn to God, who is able to restore. Then I turn to God, who is able to restore. They are lost. Battles. He restored their victories. May we turn to God who is able to restore our health, to restore our joy, to restore our peace, to restore all that we have. It is only God who restores. It is only God who gives a second chance to restoration. As I stand here, I have a testimony that God restores. Do you know, by the way, my living certificate was written like that. They say, Kimotaitisus is a young man of average academic abilities. Oh, susceptible to influence. The living certificate was not supposed to take me anywhere. Had the police seen it to Kuliwa because it was bad. The living certificate was not supposed to take me anywhere. When I went to college for the interview of uh, the theological college in Capsules, I remember they asked me, why is your living certificate in the middle of bad? I said that I used to be a bad man. I wanted to burn the school. But God has restored me, and there will be no problem in this college. I studied for three years and graduated. Never was never suspended. No problem whatsoever did I get because God restores people. He restores even behaviors that are beyond repair. He gives people another chance. God is a God of restoration. May you allow him to restore you. Sometimes you feel you are down, you are low. There is nothing that can be done. Remember, we serve a God of restoration. The God who restored the energy of Samson. The God who restored the people who are considered not worthy of restoration. May the Lord restore my joy, my health, my character, my peace. I will turn to God who will heal me. He will not only restore, but he will also heal me in Jesus' name. And lastly, when bad things happen to me, I will turn to God who keeps his promises. You are born in Kenya. Politicians promise many things. Semakati, baade ya nikipata iki, baade ya sikuflani ya nikupis, I will do this. I will do that. But I want to tell you, there is only one promise here. God. For those of you who will get married, you will get many promises. Ukokwetu, una blanket ya stima, regulates the temperature. There are many promises. But turn 
to God who is a faithful promise. Hey, Adiake, I will seek you. He has promised that he will never leave me. How many are you? He has promised to provide for me. He has promised to be with me in everything that I do. May the Lord reach the blessing. Remember, members of the disciples, remember that when bad things happen suddenly, when you feel, Lord, bad things have happened to you. Never turn to anybody else, but turn to God. Mungu ukiyo mungu. Na uki mungu ukiyo mungu, kitu cha kwanza. When you turn to God, you turn to God and cry to Him to forgive your sins and to protect you. Number two, turn to God who speaks to us through His word. He is our creator. He is our restorer. Is our God. Number three, we turn to God, the greatest promise in life. He will not leave us, He will not forsake us, and He will provide for you. As bad things happen to you this week, do not be discouraged. God is great. The other day, no, it was Saturday, Saturday three and in the morning. I have a YouTube channel. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying in this YouTube channel that I have. I am trying, at least I reach 1,000 subscribers. So, the other day, it seems I had 990. 990 subscribers. Well, look at Saturday, hey! I felt low, discouraged. But I turned to God. There is only in your mood, watch on. Kumbe yo ye ni liyankalia was not the correct thing. Hey, when you feel that, watch on your chest now. But I turned to God. He's a faithful promise to me. Two years ago, I had prayed and asked God. That he, he YouTube channel yangu. Kwa miaka miwili, mungu nisaigeni bade 1,000 subscribers. Miaka miwili inaisha kare 28 mwezi wa saba. Na nimebakia sasa na waki wa mimi. Four people. I know the Lord who kept me from one, one person to 996. Mimi na imani na inajua. Because our God is faithful. Therefore, some certain even maybe in the week bad things happen to you. Today is the time that we need to turn to God in prayer. Maybe you are discouraged. Maybe you felt you could not pray. Today I want to pray with you. If you feel in your heart that you need to be prayed for. Stand where I am, and I will take you to the Lord in prayer.